let's start. Let me remind you what we were doing last time. So uh, this is a based uh, topological space. So it's a topological space and you fix a point. We call the pair a based topological space. We define the uh, set of loops. So what is this? This is the set of all loops. Uh, let's say alpha from zero one into X. Uh, alpha is a continuous uh, function. Satisfying the following, both end points are mapped to the base point X zero, okay? So here we have the point X zero. And uh, so we just consider all paths starting and ending at the point X zero. Uh, we will make a group out of this, but uh, this thing has uh, lots of elements. Uh, its coordinate is just too big because you take all continuous functions. Therefore, you uh, uh, define an equivalence relation on this uh, to make this set, uh, to reduce the set to a reasonable size. So uh, define an, a relation. It will be an equivalence relation. Uh, Okay, on L as follows. So we say two paths uh, are homotopic or related, are called homotopic if there is a continuous function function f defined on interval cross interval uh, satisfying the following satisfying f uh, sorry Kim nasıldı? Okay, evet. S0 is uh, alpha S. F uh, S1 is, let's say, beta S. And then uh, F 0T. Uh, uh, and f uh, one t are equal to t zero for all t. Okay. We uh, write this as follows. So let me. Okay. Put. Uh, so this is let's say i cross i. This is the uh, S axis, and this is the T axis. Okay, uh, so this is one and this is one. Uh, at a point here, so this point has coordinates S comma zero, S comma zero. My function here is F. On this edge of this rectangle, my function is equal to alpha. Right, put the beta and the two edges. Uh, so this edge and this edge are mapped to uh, the point X zero. So this edge and this edge are mapped to uh, the point X zero. Therefore, uh, we have something like this. We have this, let's say alpha loop 
And then we have, uh, let's say, beta, okay? And in between, so on a line segment like this, what is this line segment? This is uh, interval cross, let's say, T, if this point is T. So you have an intermediate uh, curve, okay? Let's say something like this. Uh, we can also use the following notation. Uh, so this alpha is just, uh, so F of S zero, you can also denote this as like this, uh, F zero and beta S F S1, so this is F1S. So in general, FTS is just uh, FST. So this is the time T map of this homotopy. At time zero, it is the map alpha. At time one, it is beta. And this is uh, the homotopy at time T. So it's just a continuous deformation of alpha to beta, okay? We call this homotopy. And last time we said that uh, it was a proposition. So uh, the relation, uh, the homotopy relation, let me say, the homotopy relation is an equivalence relation. And uh, we uh, said last time it was reflexive. And that was something trivial. So alpha is, uh, Related to alpha, well, you just define this function to be just alpha of s. So uh, it is clearly continuous because alpha is continuous. And at time zero, this is alpha s. And f time one, it is again alpha s. Therefore, alpha is related to alpha, okay? It is symmetric now suppose alpha is related to beta then we have to show that uh, beta is related to alpha so this means hence uh, there is some f from I cross I into X so that, so that F of S zero is alpha S and F of S one is beta S. And uh, finally uh, T, no, uh, zero T and one T is equal to X zero for all t in zero one, right? Uh, we have to uh, write down a homotopy which joins beta to alpha. So we have to just, you know, interchange the roles of alpha and beta. How can we do this? Well, it's not difficult. Just let, let's say G uh, uh, be defined, be given by G, let's say ST is this one. So it is just F upside down. How can you do this? 
I can just do it this way, okay? Now, since F is continuous, G is clearly continuous because it is just basically F. Uh, instead of T, you have one minus T. G is clearly continuous. And what is G S zero? Well, this is F S one. So this is just beta S. What about G S one? This is F of S zero. Well, this is just alpha S. And finally, zero T and one T are just, uh, so this is just uh, F of uh, zero. Uh, yani bunu şöyle yazmam tabi lazım, özür dilerim. This is just F of, uh, zero, uh, one minus T, but uh, we know that if uh, this is zero, no matter what this is, this is just X zero and G of one T is F of zero, one minus T. And this is also X zero, therefore, G is the uh, required homotopy joining beta to alpha, okay? Uh, the third condition of being an equivalence relation is transitivity. Transitive. So we have to prove the following. Let alpha is related to beta, homotopic to beta, and beta homotopic to gamma. Uh, then we have to show that alpha is homotopic to gamma. Uh, the idea is the following. Then there are homotopies. Then uh, there are, there are homotopies. F and G so that F zero, uh, F S zero is alpha S, F S one is beta S, uh, G S zero is beta S, G S one is gamma S and uh, F zero uh, T, F uh, one T, G zero T and G one T are all X zero for all T. Now we have to write down a homotopy joining alpha to gamma. The idea is very simple, actually. Now, note that we have a homotopy from uh, alpha to beta. So we have this alpha and we have here beta. And here we have X zero and X zero. Okay. Now here I have another homotopy, G. This time, this side is beta and this side is uh, gamma, and this is X zero, this is X zero. These are two copies of uh, I cross I. What you do, you just glue these two copies. This function here is beta, and this function is beta. If you glue these, uh, on this edge, it will be again beta, and it will be continuous. So you just glue these two things together. This is beta, this was alpha, this was gamma. It was X zero here, X zero here, X zero here, X zero here. Now it's a homotopy from alpha to beta. 
but one has to be a little bit careful. This should be I cross I. This is I cross I. This is another I cross I. When you put one uh, top of the other one, then it is not I cross I. So what you do, you have to be careful. So this is F, this is G. Now I define another function H from zero one cross zero one into X as follows. What you do is the following. It was zero to one here and then zero to one here. Let's make this as follows, zero to uh, one and one to two. Now it is zero to two. Uh, to make it zero to one, then I just uh, put a one half or two uh, in front of S. Uh, so what I will do is just this. Yani e, birim zamanda iki birim yol gitmek istiyorsunuz. O zaman ne yaparsınız? Hızınızı iki katına çıkartırsınız. Yaptığınız şey o. O zaman şöyle yapacağım. Zamanın yarısında t sıfırdan bire kadar, özür dilerim. For t, t between one over two and zero. I just go via f. But uh, I put uh, two t here so that as t equals zero, it is zero. As t equals one, sorry, one over two, it is one. Yani t sıfırdan bir bölü ikiye gidene kadar burada sıfırdan bire kadar gidiyor. Yani hızını iki katına çıkartıyorum. Burada ne yapacağım? Burada da g'yi koyacağım. Hızını iki katına çıkartacağım ama bir de şunu yapmam lazım. Şimdi burada bir bölü ikiden bire kadar. İki ile çarparsam bunu birden iki olacak. Ama genin içine bir ile iki koyamam. Sıfır bir koymam lazım. So what I do is this. 2t minus 1. Okay. Okay now first see uh, why this is continuous. For this to be continuous, it is a piecewise defined function. So this function is continuous, this function is continuous. Uh, for this H to be continuous, the two functions should agree on the common uh, you know, domain. What is the common domain? It is the part where T equals one over two. So for T equals one over two, this function F of S, two times t, which is one over two, is equal to f of s one. And this is just beta s. And this is g of s zero. And this is just g of s uh, two times one over two minus one. Therefore, uh, these two functions agree uh, when t equals one over two, therefore h is continuous. Is continuous. Since we have this, okay? And <clears throat> uh, what about, uh, well, h should be a homotopy from alpha to beta, uh, alpha to gamma. Let's see that H is zero. What is this? When T equals zero, H is equal to F. So this is F of uh, S two times T. So two times zero is still zero, but F of S zero is just alpha S. What about h of s1, well, t equals one, therefore I have to use this formula, g of s two times one minus one. Well, this is g of s one, and it is just gamma of s. Therefore, uh, this homotopy h, the homotopy h joins alpha two, gamma, 
uh, we have to also check the endpoints H zero T. Well, this is just uh, depending on T, you use either this one or this one, but uh, since S is zero, uh, it doesn't matter whether you use this one or this one, F zero T and G zero T, they are both X zero. Therefore, this thing is just X zero. And similarly, H one T is also X zero. Therefore, this is the required homotopy from alpha to gamma. Tamam mı? Sorusu olan var mı? Any questions? Okay. Hocam bir şey sorabilir miyim? Sor. Bu simetride G1 virgül F'ye F0 virgül 1 eksi F'ye eşittir. X eşittirdik ya. Evet. Ben onu sen kaçırdım oraya bir daha anlatayım. Simetri kısmı Hı, şurası. Okay, yani we have to write down a homotopy joining uh, beta to uh, gamma and how uh, did we do this? Uh, ha, H, ha, şurada yaptık onu, özür dilerim. Okay. So F was the homotopy, F was the homotopy joining alpha to beta, uh, we define another homotopy. It just uh, actually goes uh, F backwards when T equals zero in G, it is one here. When T equals one in G, it is zero in F. So it just goes, time goes in the opposite direction. Here time goes from zero to one. Here it goes from one to zero. Therefore, when you plug zero here, it is just F uh, S one, which is beta. And when you have one here uh, in F, it is zero. Therefore it is alpha S. Therefore, this homotopy joins beta to alpha. Oldu mu şimdi? Oldu hocam, teşekkür ederim. Tamam. Uh, on R2, you cannot do that. Uh, we will see that on R2, every uh, any two curves are homotopic. Uh, but if you choose, for example, uh, your space uh, R2 minus the origin. So if you uh, uh, subtract origin, then your space is this. And suppose this is your base point x0, okay? Uh, just consider this uh, loop. Let's say alpha is this one. Alpha s is just cosine s sine or well, two pi s, let's say, sine two pi s. It's the curve that goes around the origin counterclockwise. And let's choose beta s to be 
uh, well, you may choose, for example, constant function or a function uh, which goes in the opposite direction. Uh, for example, uh, opposite direction da gitmesi için yani şunu yapabilirsiniz. Eksi yaparsam bir tanesini cosine 2 pi s uh, ama yok bu bunu istemiyorsun şöyle uh, cosine 2 pi s minus sine 2 pi s so uh, when s is zero you are here but when s is pi over uh, when s is let's say pi over four no uh, one over four then you get uh, sine pi over two, but you have a minus sign. So this is alpha and this one is beta. Beta goes the other way around. These two curves are not homotopic. Well, you may ask why. Uh, it's not in general easy to show that they are not homotopic, uh, but in this case, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the idea, but to uh, prove that actually they are not homotopic is not easy. We will see that, uh, you know. Oh, you mean like this? Yeah, yeah, because you can contract this one to a constant path, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Not rotation, but uh, the, the form we use in rotation number. So it's actually the function, uh, I mean, uh, uh, the argument function uh, used in complex calculus, uh, you know, integral of dz over z or uh, alpha is, I, I guess this is just two pi. And this one uh, over beta, it will be minus two pi. So this is, uh, kind of a proof. Uh, but we will show that uh, the fundamental group of this is Z for this space. And it corresponds to the following. You start from this point and, and this point and all the loops uh, are just uh, classified by the number of times that loop goes around the origin counterclockwise. So this is this corresponds to one. It goes one times around the origin counterclockwise. You may go two times, three times, or minus five times, and so on. And these are all the loops. Okay, there is no other loop up to homotopy. Uh, we will see that. Okay. So for this space, the uh, fundamental group will be Z, but if you delete two points, then you get a free group uh, on two generators. So the group becomes suddenly something very complicated. Okay, now, uh, all right, we have seen that, uh, All right. Now, uh, once we see that, let me, arkadaşlarınıza şey göstermedim tabi onlar da beni uyarmadılar. O örneği. Okay. Uh, the 
uh, set of equivalence classes classes uh, L over this. So we have all loops and uh, you divide this set by this equivalence uh, relation. So this is the set of equivalence classes. Uh, we will use this uh, notation, okay? Equivalence class. So alpha is in L. Uh, this is the equivalence class. Uh, uh, is will be called called uh, the <coughs> fundamental uh, group of the uh, based space. X, X zero, and uh, will be denoted as uh, pi one X comma X zero. Of course, first I have to uh, define what is the uh, operation, right? I said, this is just a set, but uh, I said, it's a group, so I have to tell you the group operation. Okay, let's see that group operation on pi one x x zero. I guess you can uh, guess uh, actually what the operation will be. You have one loop starting and ending at uh, x0, and then you have another loop. What will be the composition or multiplication? You will just uh, consider the composition. I'm not composition. You will put one uh, loop uh, uh, just uh, next to the other one. So you will first go uh, along alpha, and then you will go along beta. Evet, concatenation. Birini diğerinin arkasına koyuyorsun, değil mi? Okay. Now let's define it. So uh, for uh, classes alpha and beta in pi one x x zero define uh, alpha uh, beta as alpha times beta, the equals class of this gadget where, so I have to tell you what does this mean, okay? For uh, two loops. Yani alfa klası ile beta klasının çarpımı alfa çarpı beta'nın klası olacak. Uh, benim size ama önce bu uh, loop'un ne olduğunu söylemem lazım. Dediğim gibi önce işte alfayı sonra beta'ya gidiyorsunuz. Şimdi önce alfaya gidiyorsunuz ama gene bu zaman sorunu var. Ee, zamanınız S sıfırdan bire kadar bütün zamanı alfa için veya beta için kullanamazsınız. O yüzden iki kat hızlı gideceksiniz. Yani buraya 2S koyuyoruz. S 0, 1 over 2. İki kat hızla alfaya gidiyorsunuz. Geri kalan zamanda da beta'ya gideceksiniz. But uh, as S goes from one over two to uh, one, uh, whatever you put here should go from zero to one. Therefore, the right uh, gadget is just uh, two S minus one, okay? So for 
S equals one over two, uh, you have zero. For S equals one, you have uh, beta of one. So what does this do? Uh, so you first go about uh, alpha, and then you have, let's say, beta. So in uh, half time, you go around alpha, and then in the remaining half time, you just go uh, around beta. And that uh, loop is the uh, product of these two uh, loops. And the product of the classes is defined to be the class of, of this product. Okay, of course, uh, we have to prove several things. First of all, uh, this operation should be well-defined because here I have some uh, equivalence classes, but then this is uh, defined via some representatives. So it should be independent of the representatives. And then uh, I claim that this is a group operation. Therefore, it has to satisfy group axioms, like it should be associative, it should have an identity element and it should have every element should have, have an inverse element. So we have to prove all those things. I'll try to do th those. Uh, they are actually simple, but uh, one has to be careful writing down homotopies. Uh, it might be a little bit challenging. And herkesin bunu bir kere kendisinin yapması lazım. O zaman öğrenir. Bir türlü böyle hani birisi yapınca anlıyorsunuz ama hani oturup siz yapmaya kalktığınızda gene aynı sıkıntı yaşıyorsunuz. Okay. Uh, first we need to show that uh, this operation, this operation is well defined. What does this mean? Uh, so we must show the following. If <coughs> alpha is homotopic to beta, uh, sorry, alpha prime, this is not the derivative, just you know, alpha prime, another one. And let's say beta is related to beta prime, then uh, we must show that alpha beta, this product is homotopic to this product. Therefore, the product is independent of the representatives. Okay, uh, how can we do this? Okay, we can just do it this way. I have alpha here, alpha prime here. This is x0, x0, and I have f here. So this is the homotopy from alpha to alpha prime. And then we have homotopy from beta to beta prime. We will just put these two homotopies next to each other. Then we will get, uh, right, like this, F here, G here, alpha, beta, alpha prime, beta prime. This side will be X0, this side will be X0. Here, of course, this will be X0, but I don't care about this. So this composition will combine f followed by beta prime, sorry, alpha followed by beta is homotopic to alpha prime uh, followed by beta prime. Uh, this is the proof, but uh, of course you ask, you know, how can we write this down, right? 
So uh, what we do is the following. Uh, I have formula how to join these two uh, paths, right? This is the formula. Alpha times beta is defined this way. So I'll just use this to uh, actually uh, define composition uh, of F and G. So here is the formula. I'll just write it down. Uh, define uh, F times G as follows. So this is a map from I cross I into X. I have to tell you what this homotopy is. So ST, this is just, uh, okay. Uh, nestled, so this was half time, uh, it is alpha, on the other half, uh, half it is beta. So this will be, uh, our homotopy here will be F on uh, when S is between these two. And here I'll just have G. Okay, so here's what we have. F of two S zero, when S is between, no, T is between, no, S is between zero and one over two. Yes, and then G of two S minus, one comma uh, zero. Uh, zero deal, yeah. Zero T, T. When uh, T is between one over two, uh, uh, S is between one over two and one. Okay, we have to check that this map is continuous. And it gives a homotopy from uh, alpha times beta to uh, alpha prime to beta prime. Uh, why this is continuous? Because when S is one over two, uh, so this is continuous. Since uh, for S equals one over two, that the domain of these two functions agree, right? When S is one over two, F is what? F, when S is one over two, this is just one comma T. And it is just one comma T, F of one comma T uh, is this H, which is just X zero. And when, S is one over two, you have G zero T, which is just this H, it's also X zero. Therefore, you can just glue this two, okay? It will be still continuous for all T. So that's why it is continuous. And it is the required homotopy. Why is that? Well, that's also clear, I guess. Uh, ya yeah, burada şey önemli. Doğru resmi çizerseniz onu e, e, matematiksel olarak hani denklemleri yazmak, fonksiyonları yazmak kolay. Now, uh, okay. Now let's see. Uh, so this is a well-defined, uh, not well-defined, it's continuous. And why it is the required homotopy? So when uh, t equals zero, when t is zero, what is this? Well, it is f of two s zero. Uh, and 
g of uh, 2s minus 1, 0, t is phreastic. But what is this? f of 2s, 0 uh, is just uh, alpha 2s, right? Because f of s0 is just alpha. So this is alpha 2s. Uh, and this is just uh, when t equals 0, this is just beta 2s minus 1. So what is this? This is just alpha times beta s, okay? And similarly, f times g, s comma one. Well, you will have the same uh, stuff basically, but this time uh, when t equals one, f is just, so when this is one, this is not alpha, but alpha prime. And when t is one, g two s uh, comma one will be not beta, but beta prime. So this will be just alpha prime times beta prime s. Therefore, f times g is just the homotopy joining alpha uh, times uh, beta to alpha prime times beta prime. Okay, so uh, this is a well-defined group operation. Hence, uh, the group operation, I mean, the operation, I should say, the operation is well-defined, well-defined. We didn't prove that it's a group operation. Uh, for this thing to be a group operation, it should satisfy three conditions. Uh, uh, the operation is uh, transit, I mean, associative. Uh, associative olması bunu kazık, bunu en son yapalım. Uh, diğerleri kolay. Uh, bu arada zamanım da kalmadı ama neyse şey yapayım. So associative one is the difficult one. I mean it's not difficult but it is tedious to write down. Let's start from the uh, easy one. Uh, uh, the uh, class of uh, let's say E uh, E Sholism zero one into X zero. Uh, this is the map E X zero is just no, E S is just X zero for all S, all S in zero one is the identity element. Identity element, yeah, ne göstermemiz lazım? Alpha times the class of E is equal to the class of alpha, şöyle yazmam lazım tabi. And that is also same thing as the class of E times the class of alpha. Okay, uh, so let me just do it next time. We have to prove uh, several things here. Uh, this one is easy, but uh, the other ones are not that easy. I mean, they are not difficult, but uh, tedious calculations. Okay, let me stop for today. 
Any questions?